Hi guys, it's your guy here, the Anon, and today I want us to go and look at a couple of beautiful trades that actually happened yesterday. And the main goal remains uh, uh, helping those who actually uh, are missing something, those who don't understand the strategy, or those who are having doubts, okay? I believe by seeing this, you'll actually be able to take advantage of these trades. These are easy, easy, easy trades, okay? But there's something I'll explain to you in a minute, okay? Guys, as you can see, I'm going to draw this trapped or identified drop volume before the session, I'm actually going to do this 5 to 10 minutes before the session begins. Why? Because most of the time you're not going to know where volume is trapped uh, before the session opens. Okay. But as you can see, just when the session is about to open, 10 to 5 minutes, I will draw this box. It's a yellow box here, as you can see. And then I'll just write trap volume. Why? Because I know that most of the days they're not going to release these guys here. So if I'm taking a trade down to trap volume, I want to be very, very... Uh, very very careful okay because i might end up being part of the trap volume because most of the days they're not going to release them but we know markets are not perfect there's a couple of days when they will go and release them maybe out of 10 times they will release them two times but we want to build our strategy on something that happens over and over again because our job is to rinse and repeat take the same things day in day out okay so guys i'm gonna do this uh on uh, for all my indices at the same time why because i'm gonna be looking or tracking these indices at the same time the goal is to get the most easiest trade or to get the most easiest pattern okay let's look at this here is trap volume i just i uh, think it's the best practice for me uh to mark okay i'm just gonna write trap volume okay trap okay trapped volume okay i just find this to be the best practice okay marking my charts as things are happening okay and i'm gonna do this for the nasdaq as well okay the nasdaq as well so i'm just gonna write trap volume okay 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 I won't make this video long, guys. Okay, just bear with me, okay? This is trap volume, okay? So, now we know. I do this on a 15 on a, or a 5-minute time frame, okay? I've already written, by the way. But it's fine. It's fine. We can just keep this here. Okay, so this is where volume is trapped. As you can see, they are by the time they open here, these guys are at a very big loss. And for those who haven't closed the position yet, they are at a big loss. And mostly they're not going to be released. Why? Because we have stubborn people who don't have stubborn, who don't have stop losses. Okay, and those are the guys who think like, okay, prices will go up and then they will come down and then uh, will eventually be in profits. Okay, so those are the guys they are going to punish. They are going to force them to close their trades at a bigger loss. Okay, so now once we have identified this, we're going to go and to the second criteria, which is to wait for the equity opening. This is not rocket science. You just have to look uh, at your watch, okay, for this one, okay. For South Africans, it's going to be uh, 3.30 p.m., okay. And for USA, it's going to be 9.30 a.m., okay. And for other countries, you can just uh, convert, okay, because I can't know all the time zones, okay. So you just convert. I use survey times to convert my time zone, so you can use the same, okay. It's, there's a website called survey times, savvy, 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 okay. Yes, savvy times, okay. So somebody asked yesterday about the time frames. Um, once the session opens, I'm gonna go to a one minute time frame. By the way, I'm also gonna use the one minute time frame to identify the candle that opens the session, okay. So now I'm waiting for what for the patterns. The patterns will help you understand what the insiders are doing. We already know that we can control our entries and our exit, right? We that there's nothing we can control apart from that. Okay, we 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 can only enter, and then watch the market do their job. Okay, but before we enter, we need to understand what the inside guys are doing, aka market makers. Okay, because we know day trading is about manipulation, and market makers are actually those who, or the ones responsible for manipulation. Okay. Okay, so we need to uh, the pattern. The pattern will help us sit on our hands, be patient, and actually understand what they are doing, all right? And then after we understand what they're doing, we're going to wait for the evidence candle. The evidence candle now shows us that, okay, they are done with what they were doing, and we understand what they were doing. So now they are going. So we want to follow their lead. Why? Because we can't control what they do. We can't control prices, guys. We can't control. We have no control over prices, okay? We can only control our exits and our entries, okay? So we need to follow their lead. I know that people who want to lead, and that's a problem. You see a pin, you want to execute after a pin, and that's where the problem is, okay? Why? Because most pins are going to get you trapped, okay? Because you are now leading the market. We don't lead. You can't lead something you, you don't know. You don't. You can't lead something you can't control, okay? You need them to lead, then we follow, okay? So guys, now the session is open. We are trying to find a pattern and guys there are many patterns i'm still going to show you two books that will help you with patterns you can just go and get them okay 
So guys, uh, with patterns, we have a lot of patterns, okay? I believe by now you all know the patterns, okay? So when I was on US 30, yes, if you draw your line here, you will realize that they gave you a W. This is a W. We have three types of Ws, okay? We have the one which is extended. We have the normal one and the one that is not extended, okay? You can just do a search. You can just do your search. You'll know the three types of Ws, okay? Ws and Ms are very important, but they come in a variety of forms. This is a beautiful, beautiful W. Okay, and they eventually gave an evidence cattle. They tried to come and close to come and close. People went out on this one, but they didn't close them. Okay, okay, but this for me was not an appealing uh, pattern on the day because I told you I'm gonna be looking at all these three indices at the same time, and I need the easiest one. I want the easiest pattern, and I'm gonna take the easiest pattern. So this pattern was a beautiful W for those who take it. Well done. Okay, uh, what I did. Okay, what I did was I. I, I, I identified this one here, okay? Oh, sorry, guys. Let me just uh, do this, okay? I identified this one. I got a shoulder here, okay? And this was important for me. I got a shoulder. And eventually, I got another shoulder this side. And then I got a head, okay? I got a head this side. So literally, what I got was a head and shoulder, okay? I got a head and shoulder. I got a head and shoulder, head and shoulder, okay? Get head and shoulder. Yes, this was a beautiful, 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 beautiful head and shoulder. Because if you now bring this line, okay, you know that we can draw the neckline once the shoulder has made its neck, okay? So this is the neckline. You see how perfect it was? Again, we have different kinds of head and shoulders. We have uh, the descending head of head and shoulder. We have the ascending head and shoulder. We have uh, the multi-head head and shoulder. I'm going to show you in a moment. And then uh, we have, you see this one, the neckline is not, uh, is not like, wasn't broken, okay? So this neckline was perfect. It was just uh, straight. So we have this one with a straight neckline, okay? Those are things you will know and understand when you go and read the books, okay? Unfortunately, it's not everything that anyone can explain. Nobody can explain all the things in the videos. It's kind of impossible, okay? That's why I told you that when something is actually playing out, there's a lot of things happening in your mind, okay? You're looking at the times, you're looking at the patterns, you're looking at the type of trend. What type of trend do we have? You see here, I've added what type of trend do you see? I've added this here because this is something we have spoken about countless times and this is something people tend to forget, okay? People tend to forget and it's understandable for you to forget more especially when we're still starting when you're still starting okay but as time goes guys this is something you'll have to master okay what type of trend do you see for me what type of trend is this i'm not gonna explain it and i'm not gonna say anything about it because by now i believe you understand and you know what type of trend it is because we went through creeping trends we went through explosive trends and we went through uh normal trends okay there's a video about that okay uh, tell me in the comment section what kind of trend is this okay what kind of trend is this and when you identify this okay that's when you will know why this was a very beautiful trade okay we talked about this so literally what I'm trying to show you is that there's a lot of things happening in your mind when you are actually seeing uh, these things playing out okay there's a lot of things happening in your mind it's not just uh the pattern they engulf no there's a lot of things going on in your mind okay let's try to bring the ema in right now the 20 ema okay let's bring it in let's bring the you see this aligns this aligns with the ema this is the 20 ema so there's a lot of things happening in your mind when this is playing out okay a lot of things happening in your mind so when you take this kind of a trade you realize that your take profit is gonna get hit quick so it took four it took roughly four minutes to hit 50 pips i told you on average my take profit gets hit between four and six minutes most of the time it's gonna be less than 15 minutes because these are explosive you see here explosive thing is you don't you will you you mostly not gonna see a drawdown once you enter you're not gonna see a drawdown if you're wrong they're gonna close you right away that's good Okay, because if you are wrong, you don't want to stay long enough to know how wrong you are because you're going to pay for that, right? So, chances are you're not going to see a drawback. They're just going to explode. Why? Because their, do their job is done. And uh, let me address those who, there are people who saw a wedge here and took the wedge. Okay, well, this wedge was beautiful. Very beautiful wedge, okay? A very beautiful wedge. Very beautiful wedge. I didn't take this one because... uh. 
for me, I was seeing the kind of trend as well. What kind of trend are you seeing? What kind of trend are you seeing? Okay. I'm not going to mention the trend because I want you to comment. This will help others realize that there's a lot of things that go through your mind and we have already gone through this. Just tell me in the comment, what kind of trend had, do you see? Okay. So I'm not going to mention the kind of trend. Okay. That's for you. Okay. Because we have gone through that a lot. So for a person who took this one here, the disadvantage here was, uh, the risk is too big, roughly 30 pips. If you're taking in the week again, it's going to be 30 something pips. Okay. So the, the risk is too big. Okay. I, I told you this will be a low, a low risk kind of trade. Okay. I'm willing to go up to 25 because that gives me a one is to two win rate. Okay. And mostly my win rate is going to be one is to five because these are explosive kind of trades. Okay. So one is to five for me, it's good. But once you take this one, now you see that, okay your take profit your risk reward is negative okay so i didn't take this one but i believe again for those who took it maybe uh it did give roughly 50 for some it gave 40 and then now this it's gonna boil down to your broker okay but it was a beautiful wedge for those who took it okay i took this one over here okay because on yesterday i showed you i didn't have a clean pattern and then on nasdaq at this point they gave the same thing as they did on uh us daily okay but there was, for me, I didn't really get a clean, clean pattern here. Some people saw this as a W and this is a beautiful W. Okay. This is a very beautiful W. Okay. This is a beautiful, beautiful W. Again, same things, guys, same things almost every day. Okay. We can draw something like this here and then look at what we have later. Later on, they give us something like here or something like this. Okay. What kind of pattern, what kind of trend is this if you identify the trend you will know why 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 this uh, this trade was good here but i didn't take this one because the clean was on as it was on s p 500 for me okay but there are people who took this one and it was a very beautiful one because this is a w we have the extended w we have the normal w and we have the one which is not extended uh it has a name i just forgot the name okay but these are things you're gonna learn to understand when you actually go and put in the work okay you see even this aligned with the EMA, okay. But on Nasdaq, there's a beautiful trade I took later, which was a head and shoulder again. And I know people are gonna say, but this is not a head and shoulder. Okay, fine. Okay, if you say it's not a head and shoulder, it's okay. I saw a head and shoulder, and I took a head and shoulder on this one. Okay, this was my this was the head. Okay, this was the head. This was the head. I posted this in the, in the community and I realized most people don't understand this. And there are things you're not going to understand because you're not putting in the work. This is a head and shoulder. Oh, what does this guy mean? I mean, this is a head and shoulder. You see, this is a neckline. Okay. I eventually took this before. I saw this question again. Okay. I took this before the neckline broke because i already was anticipating this move these guys up here were trapped this is the evidence candle okay so i understood this one that these guys over here are trapped and i was literally waiting for this and besides this is a one minute time frame okay so it shouldn't be a hassle to go down okay and my 50 pips got hit in on the first move down okay this is the move that literally hit the 50 pips and again, you will realize that these are explosive kind of things and your take profit is going to be hit quite quick. So it was two beautiful trades yesterday. Okay. Two beautiful trades, two beautiful, beautiful trades, 15 minutes. I told you, uh, actually it was, yes, it was 14 minutes. Okay. I told you your take profit is mostly going to be hit in less than, uh, 15 minutes. Right. And that's exactly what I got head and shoulder, but there's no head and shoulder like this. There is a head and shoulder like this. The problem with people is that firstly, you want to learn on a five minute video. You want to learn everything on a five minute video. Secondly, you want to learn everything on videos. Okay. It's not everything that you're going to learn on videos. These things help you understand what's happening. Now for you to take the best trade, you're going to have to put in the work. Guys, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Sharing this. It's not a mode of like, okay, I don't know how to put it, but I don't want to put it in a bad way. Remember, if you want to become a trader, you have to put in the work because it's about the long term. This is a business, okay? You can't copy and replicate everything somebody's doing, okay? At some point, you're going to see an opportunity in it, okay? But you have to learn from somewhere, okay? Okay? It's not going to be like spoon feeding. Why? Because 
Nobody can spoon feed you, even if you have a mentor. Nobody's going to spoon feed you on this industry. The reason is there's a lot of things happening in one's mind when they take a trade. Even if they show you the exact trade they took, it's not about the kind of trade only. There's a lot of things. What kind of trend do you see? There's a lot of things happening in one's mind. Okay. And let me show you that these things are there. I posted this uh, in the community and I know most people didn't understand it. Okay. Hence, I captioned that if you want to understand patterns, read John McGee and Richard Shabakar. Okay. John McGee. Okay. This is the 11th edition. Not the best, uh, edition but it's a book with 600 pages i know most of you are not going to even read 600 pages but the knowledge you need is here one thing you realize about those big guys people like george soros people like those big guys okay people like warren buffett actually warren buffett has a, a video where he said this this was the first book he read before he discovered that he wants to be a long-term guy he read this book. This is a book with 472 pages. He read this book. Paul Tudor Jones read this book and his mentor told him to read this book. He read this book twice. His mentor told him to read it twice, twice, twice. So I know most of you want to be traders, but you don't want to put in the work. That's where the problem is, okay? That's where the problem is. You must put in the work if you want to get the results, okay? Paul Tudor Jones read this book twice. You see, twice these are not small books guys this is not a 100 page book that most of you want this is a 600 page just these two books you've read more than 1000 pages and there's still many more books to read okay so if you are willing to put in the work honestly 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 you will realize that all the things you need are there okay that people who just said oh okay i'm not talking on the comments but i know that people say the pattern doesn't exist if you think that pattern doesn't exist, then it's on you. What is this? Look at this. Shoulder, head, head, shoulder. Okay. Again, let's look at this image up here. This is shoulder, shoulder, head, head, shoulder. You see, double head. What do we call this pattern? What do we call this pattern? I'm almost done. What do you call? Multi-top, head and shoulder. Okay. This is the exact pattern I've just showed you with double heads. It is there. It does exist. Okay. But you will not know this because you don't want to read. Get these books. Read them. All the patterns you need are here. Okay. How willing are you uh, to be the best? You must read. You must read, read, read. The people who keep telling me nasty things. Guys, it's about the work you put in. You have to make tests. You have to read a lot of books. You still have to watch podcasts to hear what the best guys in the world are saying. So you can see this, this industry is the hardest because it's demanding. Okay. Those big guys you keep talking about are reading a lot of books. Okay. They don't mind reading a book, a thousand page book. Why? Because they know that to be the best, they must do things that the, the, the population is not willing to do. Okay. The population... Hence, there is a statistics which says 90 to 95 percent of retail guys are losing. Why? Because retail guys think like they hear head and shoulder from somebody. Now they want to replicate head and shoulder. Guys, retail guys don't want to read. OK, retail guys are enemies of books. And just because this looks like it's an industry where buying and selling is easy. I've had modern people saying, oh, uh, uh, even if you don't go to school, you can still be super wealthy. It is true. But if you. If you don't read, there's no substitution for this knowledge. It's the same knowledge. It's the same as the knowledge you get from school. You must read. So it's unfortunate that people decorate this industry as an industry that needs less work. Guys, this is an industry that needs more work than a, a professional doctor puts in. You must work more harder than a doctor because doctors fail when it comes to this industry. Pilots, all those professional people fail. Okay, because this is one of the hardest industry in the world, but you're not willing to read. Guys, I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay.